guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're here at Clever Cycles in Portland, Oregon, and they have a couple cool bikes, they have a lot of cool bikes, um, but some interesting designs that you guys might not have seen, and I know that when we got our Integra Steam, we had kind of limited space and we wanted to put our bikes inside. Some of these bikes you might actually be able to, I think. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of these you might not have seen, unless you're like super into the biking scene, but where do we start? You have these utility bikes, now this is definitely a shorter one, isn't it? I love the paint job on this. This is a turn. Hey, let's see. Turn NBD. No big deal. S5i. These are neat. I really like this rack that they built into this bike. It's sturdy and it's attached to the frame. That's a lot. Yeah, that is. Yeah, so you actually have front suspension, disc brakes on this. You have a huge, but you can put a lot of stuff in there. And you have the entire rear area. Throw your kids on the back and such. They are really nice colored, aren't they? Uh, and that's a pretty big battery power pack. I bet you, if I'm not mistaken, on the GSDs, you can actually have two batteries. Um, I kind of like the orange one, though. And then, all, of course, all the accessories that you can <laughs> you can upfit them with from a seat to a... If you kind of like your kid or if you really like your kid. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <laughs> uh, these folding bikes are cool, but I want to I wanna take a look at one that's already folded. I'd be willing to bet you, we could have gotten a, like a folding bike like that. Mm -hmm. Could have gotten another uh, yeah. Steam. Yeah, a Brom should be good. Brom yeah. over there. Really good. Also, my apologies for the audio. We're trying not to. It's like a library in here. Let's actually take a look at those real quick. I think these are nice. Look at this. I bet you, especially if we could, if you pop that seat out, you could fit probably two of these side by side in our cargo bay. Oh yeah. Of uh, definitely in our current rig, but uh, even in the Esteem, I think we could have. And I think that these are like probably way lighter and they have like a little wheel so you can move them easily. Yeah. I'm sure there's one that's unfolded somewhere. Look at all these guys. The gazelle. Up in the window up there. Yeah, let's see. Another nice turn. Look at that fancy system there for your chain. Got a spicy curry by Yuba. Look at that. And uh, you could definitely put like say a toddler here and then a smaller child. Look at that. Yeah, and there's the Brompton. I actually watch a channel, it's called Best Side Cycling, uh, which is where I learned about this place, but he also has a Brompton and he loves to cruise around. I think he, he rides uh, Seattle, Bellevue, Redmond, Kirkland. Those bikes are so light though that he probably gets a lot more range and can like ride like a regular bike too. Well, it, because you look at the wheels, it's kind of hard to get perspective on a, on a video, but they're, you know, shorter wheels, but super portable little guys. And yeah, being lighter, yeah, I'm sure it does make it a little bit easier. Yeah. I got something for these cargo bikes, but this, these are super cool. So if you haven't seen these, they're, uh, we might call them like front, front loaded cargo bikes or buck feet. I think these are freaking awesome. They have a, obviously a front wheel and then you have a rear wheel and then kind of like my bike, um, instead of having a little kickstand and it leans, it just has two little things that come down and you bring the bike back up on it. But look how much storage. I mean, you can fit a full Emma in there. And you can, obviously, you can accessorize these anyway. Um, but you can fit, what, two kids there? Maybe two more kids in here? Maybe you have your seatbelts. Maybe one kid here, two there. Yeah. So you can have funny. And then you have a rain cover. All sorts of accessories. Uh, but yeah, if you look back here, now these are fancy. They have the mid drive motor, the Bosch cargo line mid drive motor here. And this is kind of interesting because on this Yuba here, we have a typical chain, just a metal chain. Um, but on this guy, I believe it's a slightly more durable material, but that's a, basically a plastic or rubber chain there, which is kind of neat. And then I believe this one has internal gears. Um, so a little bit smoother, apparently. Really cool. And if you're curious how it can turn that guy way up there, you do have a headlight there. Um, as you turn the, the handlebars here, it just moves all the way down here. Isn't that neat? I think that's really cool. And here's your battery. But for example, if you look at Emma, you got you're pretty upright. You have got your kids, your basket, it's your flowers. Easy your... Of this plastic oh yeah. Cover. Yeah, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't like it. It's easy to turn still. So, like it's nice and pivot. Like like I don't think yeah. it's restricting. No. No, and then of course it'll still lean. It's not like a trike or anything like that. This one's like Urban Arrow. They have Yuba. There's a couple different uh, manufacturers, but um, yeah, isn't that neat? And then just from the front, I mean, 
<laughs> look at that it's a quite a quite a rig though um, but the the handlebars kind of have a sweep back towards you they they have that sweep they have some adjustments uh, and then if you're like me you'd probably just add an extension and raise them up even farther but you may not even need to because they're right at where your elbow bends like, yeah i'm a little tiny bit taller though so yeah i don't know i think it's pretty cool um, I would definitely, I could go crazy with this. Obviously the question with that, because I would 100%, I would bring the dogs in here. <laughs> I think that would be awesome. How do you bring it along on, a, on a, an RV, on a motorhome? Uh, I mean, if you have, like if you have a pickup truck, if you're just towing a trailer, I mean, easily, easily an option. Um, if there's a will, there's a way, but, you know, beyond that. But think of the videos we could get. <laughs> if we had one of these, Emma's in the front, <laughs> or I'm in the front. She could be pushing me. Equal opportunity. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. I think they match my Crocs beautifully. Very comfortable, very, very comfortable. And then of course it's, it's a well kitted out bike. You know, naturally it's gonna have all the finest, latest and greatest cool technology. Um, this guy is an Urban Aero family electric cargo bike performance motor in black. It's about 7,000 bucks. That'll run you. I think that's a pretty, pretty average going rate for these. But while I have no business test riding one of these, I do want to. Look at, I mean, look at even these. I, I mean, want this bike with this basket. <laughs> that's that classic. That's a beautiful color. My beach cruiser. And it's electric. You have all the, the classic styling while being electric. I've never heard of the Linus brand. It's kind of, a, kind of an interesting thing. What are these guys around you? Mm. How about 2383? Pretty bikes, though. Yeah, they are. They are like really the style nice. Of it, like the... I love that. Yeah, the chrome rack. That's pretty cool. See, it's a nice couple. Look at that. Yeah. It's a. <laughs> it's missing one of the forks on either side. That's that's really cool, and it still has full suspension on there. Isn't that neat? Okay. Some Fujis. We've had a few Fujis ourselves. Really pretty bikes. And look at these little guys. Frog bikes. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Little frog bikes, very simple the setup. Clearies for the kids. Here's another one of those spicy curries, and um, kind of funny name. And this is where your cargo would go, and then you can still have room for uh, taking the kids to school. If you guys have ever dropped kids off at school and sat in that line of cars. Like, nobody needs to be doing that. There's like three parents that ride their rad, rad wagons to school and drop their kids off. That's yeah. the move. They pull up right in front of the buses. Why not? Rain or shine. There you go. The classic bicycle coloring book. Honestly, could be some cool art. That is pretty cool. Done well. Yeah. That'd make a cool, like, you you do a bunch of these and then you, like, collage them on a table or something. That's pretty neat. So a little bit more modest of a cargo bike like we have. Slightly smaller tires than we have. A little bit more nimble and portable. There you are. And uh, the Bosch name. Um, you know that they're gonna be high quality components. You pay a little more, but well, they're gonna follow all the UL certifications and all that. Not a bad idea, but kind of an interesting seat here. But look, this frame is a lot smaller. So this is definitely something you could put on a, a bike rack. And, all right, it looks like this guy folds down. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, so if you need to uh, shorten that, I'm sure you just release that, drop it down. Uh, and it doesn't, I don't see a pivot point in the middle, but that would make this even more, uh, uh, that would definitely make this even more uh, portable. This one's kind of nice because unlike my Rad Wagon, uh, this does have front suspension at least. And you can get suspension for your seat post. Uh, if you're like me and you're kind of a wiener, uh, I should probably get one of those. And peep the colors on this Yuba. Isn't that pretty? Ooh boy. That's a cool, that's a cool setup there. Now these Brooks saddles are some beautiful. These are nice. <laughs> Probably the number one stolen item off uh, most <laughs> most nice bikes, but uh, they don't look like they would be that nice. And I think it's I think it's like a leather, and then they've got plastic underneath. Um, but when you sit on these, you're actually surprisingly comfortable. They're springy. That's nice. Like surprisingly comfortable. I think it looks too nice for my rad bike. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is army green. 
This is already sold. Somebody has some excellent taste. Really cool. Even the kids get a they get a bell. Not cool. This is kind of an interesting thing Emma found. It's a it's like a rain hood, but <laughs> around your body, so you slip it over. Yeah. So you put it on, and then it has sleeve holes, and that way your arms aren't like you're not dripping water. It kind of rolls off of you. It has an umbrella for your body, and it even has a hood. It even has a hat. A whole hat. I didn't see the hat part. <laughs> that does make good sense, though. And it covers like low and long. Yeah. It's actually a really great idea. Absolutely. Keep your, your arms free, but protected. Because I think that if you're anything like us, it's sort of an amateur bicyclist, you're just a utilitarian bicyclist. You don't like to get rained on. I mean, who does? But that's a, that's a pretty neat thing. So we're over here, we have the unfolded Brompton, and we saw the Bromptons folded up really nice and compact. There's also another option, and it's this little turn here. And I think that they, I think they're really, really good looking bikes and when you unfold them they still have that cargo does I mean you have enough that you can put a basket or a you know whatever on there good amount of storage there and uh there that's a pretty good sized bike They're actually a mid-drive hub as well so it's an e-bike you know that's a pretty pretty nice thing to have that foldable mm -hmm. you know especially if you have a fifth wheel class a um it might be an option for folks if you're interested in something that folds but can also a little more utilitarian. I think that's cool. It's a papaya colored Brompton, just like my new Crocs that are coming. <laughs> She's so excited. I don't think this color is going to show up right on the video, but ooh, it's it's bright. Now this might sound kind of strange. This is a gazelle bike. This is the gazelle or a royal. <laughs> This is the Gazelle Arroyo C8 Bosch Electric blah, 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 blah. And this might sound weird because it doesn't look like an incredible, there's nothing incredibly unique about this bike, but extremely comfortable saddle here uh, with suspension built in. Very comfortable grips in the swoop of this bar. Like everything about this, the lean here, you just want to go. Like it's, it's actually really a light bike for being an electric bike especially. So you have your cargo business here, but this is, this is nothing. Everything in this bike just wants to go. And because it has taller, I think these are 700C tires or something to that effect, with built-in uh, fender and light, which is kind of cool. Uh, but they're not too thick of tires, like perfect for commuting. Um, this, I wouldn't say it's like the most impressive bike like to me i think that those cargo bikes are a little bit more impressive looking um those box feet but this it's kind of one of those things you have to try it on really cool and this is something that we've seen a lot with uh dutch bikes is this uh these these locks built in so it's a wheel lock kind of like you see on regular city bikes um, but it's just one more theft to turn so even if they were to cut your uh, your you know, ideally you want to have a folding uh, good metal lock, but even if they get that They're not gonna be able to get past this uh, this wheel here. I think that's really nice It's just a lot more effort to steal <laughs> your very expensive bike Really cool. So here's something I think is really cool. So we showed these Bromptons, right? All their cool colors and how small they get, but what you might not believe is how big they get These guys are so cool and they fold up in a really interesting way this wheel actually comes below actually i'll show you so this wheel will actually flip underneath during the folding process and it doesn't even lose the chain which is really cool this folds down it all creates a really neat package but let me go ahead and show you this guy and i've got a safety helmet on we're gonna do this one-handed though the other really cool thing obviously very small wheels right it's got a front hub motor it's a little different because a lot of them are rear hubs or mid-drive motors but this little backpack guy clips right in that's your battery pack if you've been with our channel for a while you might actually remember uh, part of the reason that we got rid of our electric xp folding bikes is one they couldn't fit in our integra steam uh, in that that bay that we have but they were also super super heavy and what that meant was between that and the big tires when they ran out of battery juice you're done you, you were done. 
<laughs> they were hard to pedal. This, not at all the case. And it's electric assist, uh, so there's no throttle on this, which is different. Wouldn't be my first choice, but uh, it's really not bad. But uh, believe it or not, it's kind of comfortable. It's really not bad. Like, it's a scooter. It's a really good scooting bike. We'll come out through here. And this bike just wants to go. It's really interesting. So if you want to get something that you're going to scoot around on every now and then, uh, you want an electric assist, but you also want to be able to put it out of the way, this might be the option for you. I mean, it's a pretty good way to live tiny. Yeah, this little bike, it's got some torque. If you turn the settings up, you can really get going. I do think that you feel, you feel more of the bumps more often, but really kind of interesting. Uh, to ride and one thing I notice is that the uh, it does have gears uh, it has a left and a right hand selector here and one thing that I notice if I'm on one and I push left it'll go ahead and get me into a more difficult gear and in this instance you can see like what a neat way to see the cities and, uh, and I'm only in pedal, ass pedal assist one essentially there's three I'm only in pedal assist one and I'm like I'm moving. Like, you really get going. Super cool. Everything feels a little bit different on this bike, comparatively. Probably as you'd expect. Uh, but I was expecting to dislike this. I quite enjoy this. Not enough to give up my rad wagon, but I mean... If I really needed a smaller bike, we uh, downsized even more, went back to a scamp or something like that, something we could put in the back of an SUV. This would be nice, gotta say. Kind of a miserable day out, but uh, kind of pretty in its own way. Now we need to make our way back and figure out where the heck we came from. Accidentally left Emma with my phone. Bad idea. <laughs> gotta say. It's enough bike to get yourself in trouble. And look how good this bike goes with these Crocs. Who can deny that? Nobody. All right, so good news. We have found our way back. But here's something very interesting. This bike weighs almost nothing. I, I think it's definitely under 50 pounds, but genuinely, look at this, right? It's, it's uh, I don't even think it's, doesn't even feel like it's 40 pounds. Now, a good portion of that weight obviously goes to the front, you know. This is a really cool bike. I gotta say, I better take it back before I decide to buy it. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Now, the real question is if Emma can figure out how to fold it back. So there's that. Yep. <laughs> Folds like that. That's weird. Yeah. All right. And then we've got a pivot point here. Okay. That's pretty compact and we can uh, tighten her up there. And there's a pivot point here. Oh, there, one there. Can I pull the battery pack off? Let's see, pull that guy off. Oh, that's easy. Push it forward. Oh, got yeah, it. There you go, there you go. All right, and then there's one more there. And then I think it folds that way, I think. <laughs> oh, look at that. You could, uh, you could definitely fit this SUV, car. You probably fit this in a, uh, you could fit it in a Kia Soul. They put it right here. That is really neat. Um, and voila, there she is. Way more fun, even in the rain, than you'd expect. And honestly, looking at this bike's, uh, colors i think we need to paint our rad wagons make them a little bit more uh cozy if you will you ready to paint <laughs> the micicles <laughs> all right guys we're gonna go ahead and end this video here i really would love to see more kids on bikes yeah uh biking to school right like i bike to school a lot of kids bike to school, but I don't, we, we don't really see that anymore, right? 
No, they make it hard because you have to fill out like a liability form for your kid to ride their bike to school now, which stinks. It's a whole thing. But uh, now that I'm good and soaked, we're gonna head. Uh, we're gonna head out and hit the road. Yep. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, check these guys out if you're in the area. Clever cycles. Bye. Bye, guys.